All right, what's up guys? We got a question from Christian and they say, is the dream, the lucid dream specifically, is it super realistic? Basically, yeah, uh, <laughs> a lucid dream, and this is gonna be a more interesting video than just that, I promise. Um, but the lucid dream is very realistic, and to the point where actually sometimes you will think it's more realistic, more vivid than waking life. So you might be thinking, okay, well, how on earth is that possible? How can a dream be more realistic than waking life? Well, when you're in a dream, your senses and what you experience is kind of amplified. Now, that doesn't apply all the time, because a lot of you are thinking, what on earth are you talking about? You know, when I have lucid dreams, it's all hazy and unclear, and and I can't really see what's going on and you know it doesn't feel amplified at all. Well it kind of varies. Now I'm specifically talking about a layer 5 lucid dream. A lucid dream where you are fully lucid and in control, you're aware of what's going on and you are completely aware and alert. In that scenario, in that situation, it can be more vivid and realistic than waking life. You can almost feel like you're hyper aware and your senses are enhanced and strengthened to a massive degree where you can basically, it feels incredible. And I've had several dreams like this. I will say this so hyper-realistic dreams that I'm referring to here, they're nowhere near as common as your typical lucid dream. Your typical lucid dream goes a bit like this. You wake up in the dream, you look down at your hands and you realize something's kind of strange, you realize you're dreaming, uh, and then the next thing you know, you're, you've woken up. You're back in you know, real life bed and you've ruined the dream you come out of the lucid dream. And I would say that's the case for most people. Most people watching this video will, your first experience of a lucid dream will be that you wake up almost immediately. However, if you manage to transcend that and go into the, what I like to call the advanced stages of lucid dreams, the, the deeper levels or layers of a lucid dream. Now, if you do that, then you're gonna be able to experience some unbelievable things, some things which will feel so realistic and vivid. Let me try and describe just one of these things to you. So I was in this dream and I'd finished watching the Spider-Man movie the day before. So uh, I recall this scene where he would look at his hands and you'd, it would sort of zoom in and you'd see all the microscopic hairs growing out of his fingertips. If you've not seen Spider-Man, then you probably think I'm going crazy right now. Uh, but you can just search for a trailer of the first Spider-Man, the first one where you can see the little hairs growing out of his hands when he learns that he is Spider-Man. Anyway, so I was having a dream and I remember that happening. So I would look down at my hands, I would see these sort of hairs coming out of my fingertips and I'd realize that I was turning into Spider-Man. I tried to look really closely at the fingertips and I was able to zoom in and see more detail than I could see in waking life. It was almost like my eyes became telescope lenses and I could zoom really far in and see what was going on uh, on my fingertips. It was incredible. And since then I've had a few dreams like that where I can zoom in with my eyes, I can hear things from really far away, I can feel things that I'm not even touching. Uh, so your senses in many ways become amplified and enhanced when you're in a lucid dream. But like I've said, okay, for most people watching this video, you're not gonna get there. And by the way, here is how, is there a way to make your dreams and specifically your lucid dreams more realistic and more vivid? Is there a secret technique you can use which will unlock that part of your mind and make the dreams feel more lifelike than your actual waking life? One of the really powerful things I like to do when I have a lucid dream is to ground myself in the dream. So there are many ways of doing this. You can start by spinning around, okay? You can start by sitting down on the floor of the dream scene and literally just putting your hands and fingers like this and gathering what we call chi energy. Chi energy is like the life force that flows through everything in the world and it really does exist. You know, you can gather and manipulate this using something called Tai Chi, Kai Gong, um, yoga. You can manipulate this life force and, and energy and the way it flows through your body, through your meridians, through your chakra system, through your limbs, uh, and even outside of your body, in your energetic uh, dome, which is the area of physical space which is affected by your energy and life force that's flowing within you. So if you gather that chi energy and manipulate that in the lucid dream itself, you're gonna see some pretty cool things happening. Um, and you might feel like the dream is more vivid. You might stay there longer. Those of you who email saying, oh, how can I make the dream last longer? Or, you know, the dream seems to last very short lengths of time. I become lucid and then I immediately wake up. Well, that is a very good way of doing that. You know, if you gather chi energy, your dreams will last a very long time. I remember a couple of times actually, I've been able to use that technique, just that one, just the one with the chi energy uh, to massively increase how long I lucid dream for. I would, you know, become lucid at the start, go through the dream, experience things, go on adventures. And then just at the moment where I feel like I'm starting to lose lucidity and starting to wake up, I could then go into the meditation uh, pose that I showed you where you just sit cross-legged on the floor, gather the chi energy. Okay, I've got another video showing you how to do this and then just meditate within the dream. And by doing that, you'll make the lucid dream last incredible lengths of time. So I hope that answers your question about whether you can make a lucid dream feel more realistic or more vivid. There are some other ways you can do this, by the way. 
If you use binaural beats, they are really powerful. Uh, links to those are in the description. They're a type of sound wave you can listen to that makes your dreams more stable. Your dreams might become more vivid as well, and you'll have an easier time becoming lucid as well.